All right, so um, I'm Waylon Walker, um, team lead for a data science team. Uh, I kind of struggled to get the day off. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was on a call with my boss, and he's just like on my case here. There's pipelines. That master table better be in my S3 bucket by the end of this talk. I told you you could go as long as that master bucket was there. That master table better be sitting there. That's um, a quick uh, space flights. Uh, we got the space flights complete, uh, clear. Uh, we're going to hit it with the Kedra run. Um, and then, OK, back to the talk. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, you know, like as, as I was trying to figure out like what to do with this talk, um, I had a lot of ideas in mind, and I don't know, like <laughs> I feel like I had some concrete ideas. And of course, you pick the most clickbait title, and uh, and they're gonna they're gonna take it. So uh, I got the uh, this title. Um, so I love Tmux, like as Prime and Teach said. Um, I was using code, uh, VS Code along with uh, Vim for a number of years. Um, and that just got slow at some point. I found like Vim was really good at like, hey, I've got my main project open in one window. Maybe I can pop down in the terminal, make a quick edit on another project, and then get back to my main uh, my main project. But I found like as things went on, like I ended up like involving myself in more and more projects to where it's like, okay, like I ended up with like a dozen uh, code sessions open per day. Um, you know, my screen ended up looking like this. Um, I, saw, I actually saw this posted on Twitter the other day. I'm not going to dox the guy who made it. Uh, apparently, he's on a Mac, and Macs can like fly between these like like crazy. Um, I have no idea how you'd manage something like this, and it, like where, uh, where I work, like we use a template. All of our projects start looking the same. I can't tell the difference between any of them. So I use uh, Tmux, and I just had a hotkey. And in here, um, I got all my projects, and I can just like go through them. Um, uh, another title I thought you know that could be like is just like get there fast. Like navigating Vim was like one of the one of the reasons I was staying in VS Code was because um, because it's hard to navigate like cross projects or cross cross files. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, if it works for you, uh, take it. Um, quick uh, question in chat: like, if your if your screen looks like that, like this, up in like a number one, raise your hand or something, um, and so next, like, you know, as I moved in more into Vim, I ended up in this situation. Uh, you know, I think the Primogen somehow got a picture of my screen one day. I don't know how he did it, but uh, you know, I kind of I went from the too many VS Code instances to this instance, and it just wasn't working. So um, I took a journey to like uh, really learn and understand. Uh, Tmux and how it can help uh, with uh, my workflow um, helps me, like I said, move move with intent. So I got a fuzzy matcher here, and I call my doc files devtainer for whatever reason. Um, at first, like I made it as a Docker container that I can just like pop up as a quick development environment. Um, what else we got? Um, Get this picture. I, I have a blog post um, how I navigate Tmux in 2021. Um, but I've got like this model where within uh, Tmux, I've got this, uh, I've got some hotkeys that are direct links out to uh, certain projects. So I can do, uh, you know, my to do list here. T, I is my blog. Uh, B, I can go back and forth. Um, I can also hit the BJ and go to, uh, um, like a, a jump list. It's hard to see when it's all zoomed in. So we'll go back here and into our slides. Um, oh, the other thing besides uh, Tmux that makes this super sweet is uh, Durand. I don't know if anyone uses it. 
Um, maybe I think this one's got one set up. Um, well, I already had the session open, but uh, dirt and uh, let's uh, cat out this dot envrc. Um, essentially, like anytime I make a project, I I've got this uh, activate out my virtual environment. If you can't, then come up here and run this uh, command to make me a new environment. So anytime I like just switch sessions, my virtual environment's like already there and rocking for me. Um, oh, and then like I've shown, I've got like fuzzy matchers over to like a certain set of sessions there. Um, over to the blog and then here. Uh, one thing I learned like early on from uh, from Rook, I can't remember his name. Anyways, he had like this RubyConf video that talks about like, hey, Vim is a little ugly. It's a little rough around the edges. Smooth it over like wherever you hit hit some rough edges. So like he has this example where uh, his finger couldn't lift off the shift key quick enough. So he'd have the so he mapped colon capital Q to colon Q. Um, something I've done in the past is. I was on a terminal that for some reason, like it was doing something with control caret. So I just mapped uh, leader six. Um, I think eventually like control six as well. Um, so, so that I could like map between uh, that last file in them without like closing the terminal or whatever it was trying to do. Um, so it was just like a rough edge for me. Um, the LSP. So in something like VS Code, you probably get like a, um, a, you know, your errors and all of that. Uh, let's just open new.py, I mean, import uh, request. And you can see already it's yelling at us. We've got requests and we're not even using it. We can uh, do an R equals uh, requests get. Uh, Just get my website. Um, I don't know, maybe we need this uh, HTTPS. Um, so, anyways, like it uh, now it's yelling at us. We've got like like eight errors. We can hit uh, save, and then it'll run our formatter, format it for us. Um, maybe we want to make this into a function. Define uh, get and pop that down in here. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, we will make like a printer. It's going to uh, print uh, it's called get.content. Uh, one thing, so then I use this plugin called tree setter text objects. So I can do something like a DAF, maybe. A DAF. And then I can move this up here. Uh, that's super handy. Like unlike on the other languages, Python is like indent based. So uh, tree setter te text objects are wicked cool. Um, it's one of my like main points here on the uh, LSP setup is with VS Code. I was stuck with PyWrite, which is like uh, um, it's Microsoft's type checker. Um, it's really cool and it works really good, but in CI, we're running MyPy, we're running Flightgate, we're running all these other tools that aren't PyWrite. And PyWrite's like kind of close, but it's kind of not the same thing. So with uh, NeoVim, I can customize this LSP to exactly like the same thing that I'm running in CI to get that same experience. And the errors I get in my editor are the same errors I get in my CI system. Um, like tree setter here. Um, telescope, got to get telescope. Uh, Paige is here, of course. Uh, um, I guess one thing that I don't know if you can do with uh, with uh, FCF that I do way more than I should is I'll search for like some idea and hit Control Q, and then I can like jump through it. It's like Maybe my uh, uh, tree setter point of the day. Uh, so we have 
this is our thing. Oh, uh, I think we're getting a call. Pipeline failed. I don't. Ha I don't have the data set in the master bucket. How are we supposed to launch flights without that master table? You said you'd get it done. Uh, <laughs> we got to get back to the. Um, here, let's uh, move me down. Uh, Oh, uh, looks like we had an error. Um, engine type not found in Axis. Um, let's open up the uh, nodes for this. Uh, wrong nodes. Uh, nodes. And we see, okay, we have this create master table here. Um, and what I want to do is I want to look at its node definition. So I can do a little gr. Um, we'll go down to this uh, pipeline.py. Um, this is hard. And I don't know how you do it like this zoomed in so much. Um, wrong one. So back uh, gr. Okay, here we are. We are in the node definition. Uh, so it gives us the uh, inputs. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go to definition on this node. Uh, the Kedro pipeline framework has its own LSP, which is super sweet. Takes me to the definition of this data set. And I've got a key bind here, uh, leader, leader, VD. We'll open up this, uh, this data set in Visidata, and I can see we don't have that column we were trying to get. Um, this is actually in a Vim or in a new Tmux session. So I can just kind of go back and forth. Um, use the jump list, control O, all the way back out to. Maybe I went too far. We need the. Uh, pipeline definition or the. Uh, Okay, so here, uh, engine type. Uh, it looks like we already dropped that somewhere else. So let's kill that. Uh, and we can go ahead, just run that master table node, get that out to him so he'll get off our back. Um, it's running and it's fixed. Uh, we used the uh, go to definition and the jump list there quite a bit. Um, okay, and it's back. Um, And that, that was like the, uh, the main content I had here, um, essentially saying, you know, like, uh, um, I don't know, like it helps me move, it helps me move fast. Um, I'm in it, like I said, I'm in and out of two, a bunch of projects each day. Um, Know if I blaze through that too quick or uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hey, wow! Hey, dude, that was awesome. Chat was very Thanks. impressed. I don't know if you caught all the messages, I, but people were it. like, "Wow, how did he do that?" And there were some people like, "Wait, wait what, what was that?" So we've got okay. one question from the chat. Prime, go ahead. Uh, let's see. W was that a terminal-based spreadsheet SC for viewing the data set? Oh, yeah. So uh, that is uh, there's a data. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's, uh, so we should be able to, yeah, the data, no, uh, master. maybe we lost it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a terminal, like pretty cool way to go through, uh, data sets. 
Oh, here it is. Here it is. Um, so we oh, can do things. Cool. Yeah, so we can scroll through these and we might see we have this engine type here. If we give it the cap F, we can see a histogram and see, okay, uh, we're running hey. a lot of plasmas here. That's actually um, super cool. That's excellent. Um, I don't then, like that joke. <laughs> um, what, what's the so plugin now, again? What plugin uh, is that? So this is uh, Visidata. It's not a plugin. It. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. I actually flipped over to this with my own plugin, Telegraph. So it just like, it did a C word over that catalog entry and it said, okay, this is a file and I can just pass this into visit data and I can start like looking through. So we have this engine type of plasma and now we can look at the different uh, shuttle types that that plasma's in. Oh yeah. And like Very keep cool. drilling in. Maybe we'll need a YouTube video about that from you, Waylon. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, there's another I, question from the chat. They're wondering if you can link your dot files. I think maybe we can link those in the chat yeah, after you're sure. done. Feel free to just spam the chat sure. 10 times with that once you uh, grab <laughs> okay. them. Okay. 